Okay, so what we're going to look at here is how to make a scatter plot of some data and then add a linear regression. So let's just make some, you know, a hypothetical data set where we've got um, time and distance. And so typically we set this up so that we've got our independent variable here and our dependent variable there. Uh, so imagine uh, at time one you're at a distance of five meters and two maybe seven meters, and three, ten meters, and four, let's say, twelve meters, and then time five, you're at thirteen meters. So we've got some time and distance, and just um, to be good math scientists, let's give it some units, so we've got time measured in seconds, distance measured in meters. So if I wanted to make a Scatter plot of this. What I can go up is click on this charts key. And I'm going to make a scatter plot, and there there are some different ways of doing this, but I think maybe the easiest is let's just press scatter plot and go to marked scatter, and then we need to input data. So I like to manually do this. Some people will, you know, just highlight all the data right away. But I like to go and select the data to make sure that it's going to where I want it to go. So I'm going to highlight all of this data set. And what we see is that it automatically put my x values in the columns B3 through B7, which is what I want. And my y values are in C3 through C7, which is also what I want. So if I press OK, now I have this data. So some things that you may want to be able to do uh, include adding some, uh, let's see, adding a legend to this so to know what we're looking at. So if I go to chart layout up here on the top, what I can do is I can add titles to my axes. So let's call my vertical axis and what do we want to title that? Well, let's title it time and seconds. And then we can do a vertical axis. And let's call that distance measured in meters. So it's good to uh, have both labels and include your units. So if we want to put a chart title, we could say distance as a function of time. OK, so now um, is the really great part. Uh, what we want to do is add a linear regression to these points. We want to force a line onto it. So if we click on one of the points, um, actually double click, so two finger click on a Mac, what we can do, go down to add trend line. So we're going to add a trend line. And we have all these choices. For now, what we're going to do is a linear trend line. And if we go down, look at our options. Um, sometimes we're going to want to set our intercept equal to zero, and we'll think more about that later. But for now, don't click that. We do want to display the equation on the chart. And right now, uh, we're going to display this r squared. And you may or may not really know what that is for now. But let's just display it for the time being. So if we press OK, and we can move this equation over so it's not in the way. And so now we have a nice graph where my y-axis is labeled, my x-axis is labeled, I have a title, and I've created a linear regression line which is the best fit line for that data. And what we find out, uh, it gives us the slope of that line and the y-intercept. Great.